want to welcome you again to Dying the Programmer. In this video, we'll be looking into typecasting in Dart. In our previous video, we looked into objects and um, how it works. So basically, here um, on our VS Code, right, you can have a different view that you can see things. Okay, you can get to the appearance if you wish to see things on full screen mode. Okay, and you can always go back to double it off right so firstly what we are going to be doing uh, we are going to go to our command palette and what we we'll do is we create a new that project right now we we'll basically create a command line application all right in that so what we just do is we can give any name here right? create it here and now for the name of your project okay you can always give it the uh, anything you can see that guide up all and all and stuff so basically it's going through the process of like creating it right now what you have here is uh, you see this is a basic uh, dark project right you have the link folder where you have uh, you can see you have this that guide here in our previous video, I explained what this lower statement does and all. Um, you have the lib folder, you can easily just calculate something for you. Okay? Now, you have a test folder that you can do different tests when you're working with that. Okay? Now, for this video, what we'll do is you can just in our lib folder, we'll just create what we just create something like basics. Okay? Now, within the basics, um, what we'll, we'll, be look, um, we'll be looking into typecasting with that okay and just give it a typecasting dot that now you may be asking yourself that what's typecasting what's its use and all the and, and all of all, all of that sort that why do they well, what's even the need of doing using typecasting in that but now firstly in our previous video I've always mentioned that anytime you want to start with that program it should be written you should start with the main okay now the when talking of um, typecasting in that right there are different ways you can do that uh, typecasting typecasting is typically converting from one data type to another so there's string to int conversion there's int um, there's string to double conversion there's int to string conversion and there's double to string conversion so now the first thing you do is you always start with the uh, void main okay now within your void main function everything can happen okay now once you're converting from one data type to another there's always a particular method that you have to take into place okay now to conv first conversion we are going to do is uh, you can just say string to int conversion okay now for the string to int conversion what we we'll do what we are going to use is, is known as int dot pass function so the int dot pass function now helps to convert any string to an integer so it takes like the string as an argument and returns an integer so now practically how are we going to do that for instance I'll just do things in easy way i can just define one okay this is called int dot pass so i'm going to pass in that to half one okay so remember every line ends with um semicolon so what i'll do is i'll just print out one okay to see uh, our result now there's one thing um you should take note of while working with that you should always um, and now for us to be able to see our data type like that's what they call runtime type okay so it's very very important so for us to be able to run this we can just <coughs> click run here and we're going to see everything so you see it's an integer and all so now an example an, an example where you could use this practically okay you can also do this practically like this so you can have um, a string okay and have that 42 okay now we can have maybe an int number okay any number 
what we want to do with that number is we want to convert it to an integer so to convert that we just use our same in dot parse now the number is stored as a str all right so now we can see print out the number to see what we have okay so printing that out you just click run here and you see basically you have the same thing and so secondly um converting from string to double right string to double now using converting from string to double that's what we call double dot parse so double dot parse is also a function that you convert from string to double so it takes in a string as an argument and returns a double same thing as it works with string to in so how will we do this practically we we'll just have typically this or we'll just continue with the same numbering from above okay now a double dot pass you can just have to okay yeah now we can also print <coughs> two to see if it has actually converted then you can print our one runtime All right, let's run this and see what we have. Okay, <clears throat> the next thing is to convert from into string. So into string, you just use the to string also. It's also a method that converts object to string. And all of it is, this method is actually defined the object class. So it means that for this, that they're available to all objects in that, okay? So um, the to string returns basically a string representation of the object okay it's very 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 important for you to know this yes so now we can just look um into a practical example of how we can use this uh, to string method okay now we can just have a, in, uh, a number we can have a number of, let's say 12 okay now since we have used str above, we can just give it st. Okay, we use num. We're converting that number that we have saved for converting it to a string. Okay, now uh, that we have that, we we'll just print out uh, st. Okay, so now basically, we have our in the name num is already defined. So we have already used num before. We can just call it nums then here. Of norms and see what's an output. So be careful not to define things duplicately. So we have this. <clears throat> so basically, let's just do a brief explanation of this code. So basically, here we just uh, define integer called norms, okay, with a value of twelve. Then now we then use this to string method to convert that integer to a string, okay, and I will store it in this st variable finally they will print out the st variable will give us now this to string method is also um, used to provide like a custom string representation of an object for example right you might define a custom class with a to string method right that returns a string representation of the object state so what am i talking about i'll, I'll, I'll do this practically using classes right so i'll just comment all what we have done here i'll also have a new function okay so now we can basically create a class okay of person so what that you should take into account um, a person has name okay i take into account that a person has an age all right i think those are the two informations that we'll just take now about the person now we we'll have um the person right so the person should be able to take this dot name and this dot age. So at this point, if you don't understand, you should not bother with time things are going to make sense. Okay. So what we have, we can just have an overwrite here. Sorry. Now we we'll have a string, right? Or converting to string practically. So uh, now we're going to make use of uh, string literals. Okay, we look at we spoke of string literals um, 
in the playlist you can check it out so we'll, we'll just return um, for the name right can you see name is uh, age since um, we have already defined our name and age right you can just say name is that yes oh, okay now for that we need all this to run you need to run in the main function okay now we create our main function our main function well from person of person um yeah now we can for the person we can pass in so I'll just give the person name name of Daniel okay now Daniel we can just give it a just 50 okay <clears throat> so now that we have this what we do is we still have our string so, um, we're converting that person again to string okay so that's how it work then now we we'll just print our string to see our expected results so let's run this out and see what we have so it prints out that is here. So if you doubt, you can see check the the runtime type. So basically, for a vivid explanation for you to get things clearer, right? We define a person with a class of name and age property. So these are the two properties for the person we have, and we have the constructor. This constructor that sets the the properties. So what we do now is then we then overwrite the to string method to return this a string representation of the object state right so that that's that's very 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 important and finally we just create like a person's object right we we'll create a person's object with the name of daniel and the age of 50 then we just use the to string method to convert the object to a string and print it to the console and now we have the output of daniel 50 years old so now that's um, basically how you can convert from that uh, yeah the the last thing that we we are left with is with typecasting it's basically um, conversion of double to string <clears throat> so now for it to convert from double to string you need uh, to a string okay now since we have this method i'll just continue writing within this method so now in that there's what they call to string as fix so the method is used to convert like a number to a string range within fixed number of decimal places you have to take note of that so you can basically convert from like pi 3.14 to 3.145 and so on and so forth so the method is defined on the number class so when i say num class it means like the is valuable to all number types in that so let's see this practically okay you can just have a double num okay you can have 3.141598 and stuff so how we we we'll just have another string since we have that we'll just st again we'll convert the num we have there okay so string as fix you see vs code shows now the number of fractional digits they want to convert it to you can just say two okay now uh, the last thing we we'll do is we we'll just print out the object that we have which is st okay so basically that's all about typecasting and let's see our output what we have here we have three point one four. You see, it has moved to like two decimal places. Okay, so that's basically all about typecasting. Um, yeah, it's very very important for you to understand this if you want to continue into another dimension in that. So, basically, I want to thank you for watching this particular video. Please like, 